Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. We've gotten a report of Daedra worshipping in the hills above Windhelm. All right, Rhea. Now that you're a full-fledged member of the Vigilant, it's time for us to do what the Vigilant do. You should repeat after me, wherever the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Let's go. This a spriggan. Doesn't look like it'll allow us to pass. Come on. Stendar's mercy be upon you, Spriggan, for the vigil has none to spare. All right, let's get back on our horses. Oh, wait, this was a hag raven. I wonder if the Spriggan had killed it. <coughs> so there's no telling what sort of worshipping is going on up here in the hills. But it was such that the citizens were becoming concerned and contacted Knight Paladin. Cyrus, and thus I've been dispatched with Rhea to investigate. Hello, I'm with we the are Vigilant. Lord Boethius Faithful. Have you come to test your metal? I've gotten reports of Daedra worship. Is this some kind of a cult? We are forged by Boethia's example. We carve our will upon the world through our tongues and our blades. You, you are nothing. An empty vapor dispersed by the slightest breeze. I am not afraid of you. Good. Perhaps I've misjudged. Who is this Boethia? The Lord of Plots, Deceiver of Nations, Devourer of Trinomac, the Queen of Shadows, Goddess of Destruction, He who destroys, and She who erases. Many are our Lord's lofty names, but they befit only us mortals. Intone her mighty names from now until the end of time. It is for naught. Names mean nothing to our Lord. She only cares for those who care for themselves, whose hearts are full of purpose, whose lives are full of deeds. Hmm. Well, it certainly cannot be said that my heart isn't full of purpose, and my life is full of deeds. As a vigilant of Stendar, if you desire a glimpse of our dark mistress, then this is what you must do. First, prove your tongue can wield a lie. Find someone, gain his trust, lead him to the shrine above. Next, instruct your thrall to touch the pillar of sacrifice. Its magic will ensnare him, 
rendering him helpless. Then, girded with certitude, plant the ceremonial blade deeply so that the waters of his heart wash over you. If your will is strong enough, it will stir Boethia in her dark mansion, and she will appear before us. Perhaps. That remains to be seen, but if it is so, and if Boethia appears, then we will welcome you as one of us. I think I have another idea. Why don't I just wipe out the entire cult? Starting with you, Priestess. Oh, Here we go. Damn you. Oh. Ah. Just a ah. No. That spell. You have caught my attention, mortal. That is most unwise. You must be Boethia. Tell me, why have you slain those who profess to follow in my ways? They're Daedra worshippers. And I am with the Vigil of Stendar. And wherever the Daedra hide. The Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. I abide only those whose will is aligned to my own. Those who oppose my desires perish in the most dreadful of ways. I have a purpose for which you might prove useful. But first I must test the deftness of your guile and the strength of your purpose. Make a thrall, lure him to my shrine, prove your will is stronger. Convince him to embrace the pillar of sacrifice, and then slay him without mercy. Do this, and I shall remember you, and bestow an important task upon you. Do this not, and I shall forget you, and your soul will waste in obscurity. That was interesting. Oh, look at this blade. Quite nice. I think I'll take it. What can I do for you? All right, let's see what's going on up here at the shrine. So, I have to lure someone here. Someone to be going. sacrificed. And who could I possibly sacrifice that would be in accordance with Stendar's wishes? There's only one person that comes to mind. Come on, let's go. To assist you Listen, if you'd father, like to purchase something. I've been thinking. Janessa. Blade and shadow, silence and death. No. These are my arts. For a modest fee. I'll make great art for you. No good at this. Yes, I'm sure you will. God, I, I don't even like Consider monsters. yourself hired. You have chosen wisely. Dragons. Lead on, and I, I shall follow. You're no stranger to the wild. All right, we're back. At Boethia's... I can't even... Let me try to pronounce this.
the Sakellum of Boethia. Sakellum. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. But anyhow, we have our candidate here who is steeped in darkness. I think this is something that she might enjoy. Um, both of you, come up here. We've stopped. What is... What can I do for you, friend? I need you to do something. Fine. What? What? I need you to use the pillar. Nothing I can't handle. I'm sure it isn't. Yes, my thane. Do you need something? There we are. I'm sorry, Janessa. I'm still here. Your views are so different from mine. You speak of darkness, and I exist in the light. Now... Let me take this sacrificial blade. Oh, I actually have two of them. I'm sorry, I have to do this. Farewell. Well done. You have proven the strength of your will and your tongue's gift for lies. You have shown ferocity and prowess in combat. Now the time has come for a final proving. Are you able to cast aside your honor and strike with the hidden blade? Honor is a coward's tool. An astute observation. Skyrim is a beautiful and harsh mistress, but her people cling to such a petty notion of honor. My previous champion displeases me. It is time he is replaced, in the traditional fashion. Who is he? I am loath to utter his name. <laughs> One cannot erase a thing if it has a name to be remembered. Then where can I find him? You will find him holed up at Knife Point Ridge, where he plays king to bandits and highwaymen. What has he done to displease you? For a time he served his purpose, but that time has ended. He uses my gifts for his own amusement, and the only amusement I tolerate is my own. Say no more. He's as good as dead. Kill every single member of his band. Do so as silently and invisibly as you can. For this is not about you. You are to be my instrument in this. Slay him in the coldest of blood. Do not give him the dignity of defending himself. Once his corpse lays cold upon the ground, and all trace of his followers erased, retrieve my ebony mail. A gift fit only for my true champion. Hmm. A Daedric artifact. Now I see why Knight Paladin Cyrus sent me here. So I'm being offered the opportunity to follow Boethia. Boethia is the Prince of Deceit and Conspiracy and an important deity of the Dark Elves. A follower has improved attacks when dueling a single opponent. The tenants are murder the innocent, slay people who stand in your way, strike unseen with sneak attacks. Dark elves are most deserving of Boethia's favor. I reject 
Boethia. Be careful. These are dangerous times. All right. I'm so sorry, Janessa. We but stopped, you are it? now acquainted with the darkness that you so worship. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. Let's go. All right, so the Ebony Mail. It's a Daedric artifact. We must procure it and lock it away so that no one can use it for the purposes of darkness. All right, we're here. They might already know we're here. Look out, they... Oh no! My horse! Oh, here they come. Look out! So much for sneaking. Last mistake. Stendar, take you. Uh-oh, here's someone coming with fire. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Rhea, have you got them? All right, I'll let her deal with that bandit. Who's shooting arrows? Ah, here he is. Now, this is a surprise. Goodbye. I cannot control. Where's Rhea? What have you done with her? I stand off. I drag you into the light. Well, Boethia wanted us to do this silently, but that's not the way of the Vigilant of Stendar. All right, it looks like we've defeated all of the bandits in this area. What? What are? Come on, let's let's go. We're not done here yet. indeed. Yes. Quite. Mm. 
Necklace of Minor Knight. Heavy armor is 13 points more effective. Alright, let's go. Looks like you're ready. Ready for some action. This is Corundum. Now ain't this a surprise. Come on. Victory for now. Hmm. Must have been nothing. Here's a painting. Butterfly wing. All right. Let's keep going. Out. There's gas here. True Nord never backed out. What's going on? Come on, come <laughs> on. Not bad, not bad. Is someone there? Now what? All right, so this was the champion. Let's go ahead and take these boots. What is this? Prevents magic and stamina regeneration. So I'm, I'm getting a uh, credit for doing this stealthily, I suppose, that last kill. All right, Corundum. I really don't think we need much Corundum. What do you think about my new crossbow? I thought this looked a lot more angelic and light than the uh, the colorful one that I had. It also does a lot more damage. Suppose we can take these elven bolts. Well, that does it. Oh, what's this? What Noble hunting bow. It's expensive. I think I must put on this ebony mail. And what does it do? Confers a fire shield in combat that increases armor and fire resistance by 77 points and muffles your movement. You have done well, my champion. You have earned my respect. A feat few manage and live to tell about. I shall write your name upon the tablet of absolute darkness. 
You may keep my ebony mail. A token of my appreciation to my new champion. Its gifts will resonate with your talents. Now go. I have strings to pull that require my full attention. You may pursue your own course wherever it leads you. Remember always this. As you will it, so it shall be. All right. It looks like we're done here. Let me get back into my regular armor. Just curious how much... 189, so... I suppose if it was tempered, it could possibly... be as powerful as my vigilant armor. All right, Rhea. We're done. It's time for us to continue our pursuit of the war with the vampires.